Um, so this is actually another site set, also set up with the um, the agency landing page, and we wanted to do a, a demo for ages now on custom settings because they're they're quite a useful feature that some people know about and some people maybe don't. Um, so just so you know, here is the documentation on them. Um, what they're useful for, I use them quite regularly um, when I'm actually building a site and um, I don't want to write a module which has a settings section in it. Um, so I'm able to create um, some custom settings for my site based on code. Sorry, based on um, content types. Um, so I can just make, um, say, the company brand settings content type and I'll put a title part on that and then I can put a stereotype of custom settings on it which just identifies to the, the custom settings module that it's um, this content type is specifically for that. I'll remove the creatable and listable because you don't create them as you normally would in the UI. Um, but I'll put a couple of fields on. Maybe for the logo as well. Um, the, the one of the big advantages with um, this approach is you can um, just use any of your standard fields or parts. I forgot to save it before, um, which means you can have easy access to a media picker if you've got images that are um, kind of were used throughout the website. So I'll save that, and then if we go down into settings, um, we have some custom settings available. I don't, re I don't really need the title in this particular case, um, but or Acme. Perhaps we'll pick one of the logos from here because they're already in the library. And then we'll save that. And then these are all just available on the site property um, or through site services as a as a J object. Um, so here is an example of accessing um, some settings for a PR that um, Antoine's been working on for just some, some basic theme settings. Um, but for the one we created, we might put these just in the layout file. Um, whatever I called it, I think it was companybrand.content. Um, and then you have access to to that property, or the um, the logo property would be um, something along those lines. Um, so really simple to use. Um, you can create lots of them. Um, we have another one here, which is is part of a PR, just to provide um, the the fav icons and the, the footer icons. Or, the, or a footer um, snippet, um, and this one is named specifically for the agency theme, um, and we have another one for the blog theme, so that if you were to kind of change themes during your um, after you've run your recipe, it would introduce the, the the blog theme settings, which would obviously have a different fab icon and would be configured differently. Um, so yeah, after um, after a month or so, there's custom settings. Thank you. Perfect. Um, and I think the intention is that we'll we'll try and do something similar at some point for um, users. For users. Um, and I was thinking that we might put a little drop down here so that you can, rather than going to this edit screen, you can choose to go to a drop down here for a custom piece of information about a user that's just designable through the admin without having yeah, to write any code. I mean, that or when you click on edit, you have tabs. 
<laughs> yeah, I mean, you could do tabs, but each one needs to be saved individually, which is a bit of a yeah. weird thing with tabs. Um, so quite easy to to not. But either way, it would, I think it would be a really nice feature because people have asked about this many times. They don't have to be saved individually. They could be saved all together. They could, but I think the way the custom settings works is it's a, a controller that it hits to do it, but I'd, I'd have to check that. Uh, you have to check. <laughs> um, I'm not sure. I don't, think, I don't think it hits the admin. I don't think it hits the standard admin controller to save them. I think it hits one of its. It have its own controller and it will work. Yeah. Um, yeah, otherwise, the little tab will be, the little drop down will be weird. So, okay. Yeah. Um, anyway, that would be yeah, um, a nice feature, it. I think, if somebody ever wants to work on it. Most of the code is there already. You just need to, to port it over. And I think we, if you can, if, if someone can find the link to the issue we commented recently about that, I know I commented on that, but I don't remember in which context. Um, explaining that, yeah, and we talked about custom settings, and we can already do that, but with code, uh, but not, not declaratively. So that's, that's the idea. Um, okay, thank you. All good.